This is an Ibanez guitar. It's the FR1620. It's quite a high-end guitar as far as uh, price is concerned, so uh, you can expect uh, a bit of high-end performance for that price tag as well. And it's certainly the case with this guitar. We'll start with the uh, with the neck. Uh, the neck is is listed as a five-piece neck, which is made from maple and walnut. But if you uh, look closely, you'll see that the the walnut is actually just a very small decorative stripe in between the three pieces of maple that essentially make up this neck. So consider it as a maple, an ordinary maple neck, with a nice little decorative adornment. Um, Having said that, it's not ordinary. It's an Ibanez neck and, and therefore is extraordinarily slim and comfortable in the hand. The slimness of the depth this way gives a feeling of width to the fretboard that way, which is nice. Now, it's not really uh, a decorated neck. It doesn't have binding. It doesn't have fancy inlays. The um, dot markers, traditional dot markers, are mirrored on this side, player's side of the neck. Uh, by white dots that just sit on the uh, on the rosewood edge. There's no binding. It's a bolt-on neck, uh, but the uh, heel is well moulded into the body. The, the shape of the body allows for that sweep of the, of the heel to be moulded in there. Uh, 24 frets, quite large frets as well, so, so uh, very good playing uh, action for, for you lead guitarists out there who do the bends and, and trills and such like. Okay, moving on to the body. The body is made of ash, and it's uh, it's basically a slab of ash. There's comfort contouring on this edge here, as you might find on a strap, and also comfort contouring there. But apart from that, it's it's uh, it's quite plain. It's finished in black, but it has white binding around the the edge. Going on to the hardware, the bridge is an Ibanez design. It's called the tight end and uh, it has uh, full intonation adjustment and action adjustment via Allen screws here. Uh, there are a couple of features of the bridge that are unusual. One is the length of the saddle, which allows for, for better string alignment during adjustments. And one is a, a, an additional Allen uh, screw, which locks that saddle down to the bridge once you've got your intonation set the way you want it. So I do remember to loosen those Allen keys if you do start making adjustments. The pickups are uh, Ibanez own. Um, they're, I think they're CCR. I, you'd have to check the, the uh, specs on the written review. Uh, but they are actually some of the nicest pickups I've come across. There's um, a master volume, master tone, and a five-way selector switch. Now, why is it five-way? Uh, when you've got two humbuckers, well, it, it uh, doubles as a coil tap. So in position one, you have the bridge humbucker in operation. Position two taps the bridge humbucker so that the uh, coil closest the neck is in operation. Position three, the central position, taps both humbuckers and uh, puts the same coil on the bridge, but the uh, the reverse on the on the neck, so it's the, the coil closest to the bridge which is operating there, so that's those two coils. The um, fourth position taps the bridge humbucker alone, leaving that coil uh, in operation. The fifth position is the bridge humbucker running with both coils. So you've got an extraordinary amount of um, interplay there, different voices, you've got five different uh, positions with five different voices. So, talking of the voice, let's have a little listen to to the way things sound. We'll start with the bridge humbucker. <laughs> sound, that's one of the best uh, humbucker sounds I've, I've heard in a long time. Very complex tone palette in there. Let's go to the, uh, to the second position, which is that humbucker tap. <laughs> Uh, 
just a nice bit of high end uh, without that complexity in, in tonality that the humbucker has. Let's try those two single coils uh, tapped, uh, two humbuckers tapped single coil together, central position. <laughs> Scooped out, nice, uh, nice funky uh, rhythm guitar sound. So let's try the humbucker tap. This is a single coil operating here on that tapped humbucker. <laughs> to the uh, to the bridge humbucker running complete <laughs> I particularly like this guitar, I particularly like that humbucker at the bridge. As I think I mentioned, it's not uh, a cheap guitar, but uh, you've got playability, uh, 24 frets, so the whole history of rock and roll is there somewhere. Um, you've got the switchable, tappable pickups which sound awfully sweet. I'm running it through a digital amplifier for convenience, but I imagine this thing would just be the dog's nads going through uh, a nicely cooking valve amp. So there it is, the Ibanez FR1620. Look at it and lust. <laughs>